This is an easy front door makeover. I updated my door and I made some DIY planters that you can easily replicate at home. This look adds so much fun, color and spring vibes to my front entrance and I'm sharing exactly how I did it, how you can choose the right plants for a planter and the mistakes that you need to avoid when you are putting a beautiful planter together. If you like gardening and improving your outdoor spaces, you might want to subscribe, just saying. So this makeover started with painting my door. This is what it looked like before and what it looks like now. If you get to know me, you are going to quickly find out that I use paint to refresh a whole lot of things. I believe it's the surest, fastest way to do so, and it doesn't really burn your pocket so much. Now this color though, check it out. It's awesome. It's called raspberry truffle by benjamin moore the paint that you use does matter especially for your front door so find out what your door is made of and make sure that the paint is going to adhere well that it's going to weather well and it's going to last you for years to come i only used a quart i didn't even use the whole quart thing probably like a third of it and i even went over it twice this is the exact planter that is already spent the flowers have died from the winter season On this back side, um, it looks like there's a bald area. And this is a lesson that I want to share with you. I learned that because there is the wall, you have got to constantly rotate your planter. That way it gets the natural elements. Now here's the shrimp plant that I ended up choosing. I love the height, and if you can tell from the difference of the arborvitae to this one, it's much better. And then here we have the other ones that we're gonna drape that we're gonna talk about in just a minute. The first thing I do is I put the centerpiece in the middle and then I use the other plants. So I will buy um, two of every kind so that both of the planters look the same. And play around with them until I get the look that I want. Get them out of their pots and start checking that they're not root bound. If they are, go ahead and help them loosen up the roots. Put them in there, make sure they're all level, make sure they look great to you, and go for it. I also add this quick start um, and I have in other videos shown you that I always put a plant starter whether it is a granular or a liquid form. In this case, I've chosen a liquid form, I follow the directions and I've just added it. It gives, gives them a boost because they kind of feel it whenever we, we, we kind of shock them every time we move them or transplant them. I chose Waikiki Sunset as the first one, and I love this one because it has variegated leaves with a beautiful yellow flower. And all of them were chosen to be part sun. And even though I get a lot of sun on that side of the house in the evening, um, it is protected by the covered porch. The next one that I chose is called Super Tunia Honey, and this one should produce a lot of yellow flowers which I thought would contrast well with the red of the shrimp plant and then I also chose this licorice it's called white licorice all of these are by proven winners the other little purple flower that I had also is a common petunia that one takes a little bit more sun, so we'll see how that one does. And I am so in love with shrimp plant. It's new to me over the last couple of years, but I have grown to love it. They come back, even though they die down all the way, they come back year after year in my climate. So what do you think? Drop a comment down below if you still have questions, or follow me on Instagram or Facebook and send me a direct message with a picture of your planter. 
I'd love to chat more with you and other social media platforms too. I'm hoping that I've inspired you to either easily upgrade your front door or to get something going on a beautiful planter because remember that you can create bliss in your garden. By the way, I've made other videos of all kinds of other things that have to do with backyard and gardening. Check those out too.